This is BMW G30. That's the seventh generation of BMW 5 Series. I'm driving BMWs for over 15 years. I have owned all BMW 5 Series starting from E39. And you just cannot imagine how huge pleasure it is to discover all the effort that BMW engineers are putting with each and every single next generation into their BMWs. Hi all, I'm Vladimir, you're watching the BMW channel. In today's video, I'll tell you about the different hidden technology built into a BMW that even most of the BMW geeks are not aware of. Information in today's video will go mainly about the S15 platform. It means F90, G01, G11, G30 and Rolls-Royce. Of course, some of the technology can be found also on the older vehicles and of course, all the same technology will be found on the newer BMWs and over there you'll find even more advanced technology. Before we proceed to the topic of the video, let's make an agreement. When you see the first fact you didn't know, then hit the like button. When you see the second fact, then hit the subscribe button. And if you know absolutely everything information covered in that video, uh, reach me out and I'll buy you a beer in a local bar. Have you heard anything about the technology called connected shift? If your vehicle is smart enough and equipped with all the needed sensors, your vehicle is able to shift gears based on the navigation data. Actually, this is not a new technology. The newest edge of that technology is that your vehicle is able to analyze its surrounding based on the active cruise control and CAFAS camera systems and other sensors. The vehicle is able to analyze the traffic around you. For example, if you're approaching the vehicle with the high speed and if there is any obstacle in front of you, the, your BMW will know uh, does it need to shift, uh, shift down, up or not. So, the automatic transmission in modern BMW behaves not as it used to be years, years ago. It gives it way better performance, uh, lower fuel consumption, and that's why it is very critical to update the software of your BMW so all the systems can behave properly. In addition to the software, updation, update of the navigation uh, maps will also help your vehicle to behave properly. Did you know that your BMW head unit like NBT EVO has hidden built-in functions like favorites? How to access to that menu? If you will press and hold the back button on your iDrive, on your screen will appear additional menu with the favorites. Let's see how it works. Press and hold back button and over here you can see the hidden menu that you were not aware of before. This is the shortcut of your different favorites. You can assess different parts of your uh, settings uh, way faster. Did you know that enabling sports mode in your vehicle and shifting your transmission into sports mode is not the same? Let's see how it works. First, how does it work? If you want to switch your car into sports mode, you just press sport or you can press comfort and so on. If you want to switch your transmission into sports mode, you first go to the drive and then shift your lever to the left. Now the transmission is in the sport mode. But majority of users just do not know that in those modes, in sport mode and transmission sport mode, transmission behaves differently. Its shift times are different. That's why for better performance, you just have to test which mode you prefer more and which uh, mode just suits you better. Let's talk a bit about the climate system of your BMW. How does it really work? All BMW users have probably noticed that on some BMWs, somewhere on the console, there is a special switch you can regulate between cool and hot air. And in addition to that, there is also another switch where you can regulate the temperature. So what is the connection between those? Have a look to my BMW. The switch I'm talking about is not present on BMW G30. It's electronical, but it should be somewhere here. As you can see on the picture, for example, from my F34. But on that G30, you can see still the climate and you can regulate the temperature. I have a four zone climate, that's why I can regulate the temperature in the whole car or it can be regulated separately. To go to the function I'm talking about, go to your vehicle, vehicle settings, climate comfort and temperature adjustment upper body. Over here, you can find the same switch. You can put it hotter or colder. But what does it mean? 
That switch that is hidden on some BMWs and present on some older cars, actually it doesn't regulate the temperature of the whole car. The temperature is still regulated by the knobs with the temperature. That switch regulates only the middle zone, uh, only the air that is blowing to your face. Why? Because during the winter time, if you are driving, you put the temperature, for example, to 26 degrees Celsius, it will be kind of hot in the vehicle. Your eyes will get dry, and that's why you can regulate the temperature that's blowing separately only to the, your uh, face, so your eyes will be not as dry. So that switch regulates only the temperature of the middle section of your vehicle, not the overall temperature inside the BMW. Did you know that BMWs that are equipped with driver assistance systems are working based on the cameras? Have a look over here. So you can see there are actually two cameras. On the older vehicles, on the F chassis, there's only one camera present. So the question, why are there two cameras on the G series? If you know the answer, leave that in the comment. Did you know that your BMW is so smart enough that it can turn on automatically the seat heating, the steering wheel heating and actually in addition to that also the uh, built-in ventilation into your seats based on the surrounding temperature. Let's have a look how it works. In your iDrive go to My Vehicle, Vehicle Settings, Climate Comfort and the lowest option Seat Climate and Steering Wheel Heating. Over here you can adjust all the settings for, for the driver and for the passenger. Let's take driver for example. Over here you can adjust which part of the seat will be heated, but that's not the most interesting part. So you can actually adjust seat heating will automatically start if the surrounding temperature is below, for example, 10 degrees, or you can adjust the temperature as you would like. In addition to that, you can also adjust the same parameter for the uh, steering wheel heating based on the surrounding temperature and for the summertime, for example, the seat ventilation. Those settings are extremely handy to use and might be, might be very beneficial. If your BMW has automatic transmission and you are at the car wash or repair facility and you are asked to leave your vehicle with a neutral position, how to do that in the most beneficial way? So the easiest way will be make sure your engine is still running, then manually shift to the neutral. After that, you can turn off the vehicle. And actually, the iDrive says that you are still in neutral position, so you can roll up your vehicle easily whenever, wherever it's needed. So your vehicle is still in neutral position, so it can be rolled where necessary. And also, in that position, if you close your car and you will try to lock it, it will be not locked, it will make a horn. So the car is still open. If you need to remove the vehicle from the neutral, you can just press park and now the vehicle is in its regular state. I bet I already covered some facts that you didn't know about, so it's a really good time to subscribe to my channel, not to miss any important information in the future. Did you know that keeping the right tire pressure in your tires is just critical for stability on the road? On modern BMWs, Proper tire pressure can be found in two places. One is electronical and second is manual way. We'll have a look to the both and I'll explain you the difference. All BMWs near the driver's seat will have uh, that kind of label. Over, over here you can see the proper tire pressure for different uh, size of the rims, uh, load of the vehicle and so on and so on. On that table the tire temperature is shown for the cold tires. What does it mean? The surrounding temperature at the factory is taken at 20 degrees Celsius. Cold temperature means that temperature inside the tire is exactly the same as the surrounding air. Of course, while the vehicle is driving, due to the friction, the temperature inside the tires goes up and that's why the pressure rises. That's why if you are putting the tire pressure based on the table I have shown you before, it is critical that the tires should be cold. So, the tire pressure cannot be adjusted based on the table after extensive drive. But my channel will not be about the technology and BMWs if I was just telling you that uh, leave the vehicle uh, alone for a night and in the morning uh, put the right tire pressure. Modern BMWs can analyze what is the proper tire pressure based on the conditions you are driving at. 
Let's have a look to the iDrive and then show you the place where the temperature is automatically adjusted based on the driving conditions. In your iDrive, go to My Vehicle, Vehicle Status, and over here you can see the proper tire pressure. As you can see, at the moment I have the pressure in my front tires 2.2 bars and the rear tires 4.4, but the actual recommended pressure for the rear is 2.6 and for the front is 2.4. What does it mean? You might notice that while driving those recommended settings on your BMW iDrive will change and actually it makes a lot of sense. Those recommended settings will change based on the vehicle, uh, not vehicle, but tire sizes and rim size you put inside your vehicle because on different tires the pressure should be different and also it calculates, actually not calculates, it measures from those sensors inside each vehicle what is the actual air temperature inside the tire and that's why it adjusted adjusts it and tells you the proper pressure you have to put in. That's why after driving, if you need to adjust your tire pressure, you can do it very easily, but not based on the um, analog table I have shown you before, but based on that electronic table, because it is being modified over time and you can put the pressure exactly the right one. I bet that majority of you do know that the main parameters of the tire are shown on it, but actually there are some more things shown on the tire that you're not aware of. Of course, 275 is the width of the tire, it's 30 is percentage of the width, the height of the tire, L20 it means the rim size in inches, but who knows what does that star goes for? Who know? Please write the answer in the comments. Majority of BMW owners do know that your car main battery is located in the trunk on the right hand side. But did you know that some vehicles might have additional spare battery under the hood also? It will be also the AGM uh, 50 ampere hours battery. That battery will be placed in your vehicle, for example, if you have uh, Webasto built in, that's an auxiliary heater, or your rear axle is active steering. Additional battery is built in into your car electrical system and during the winter time it also helps you starting the engine. Obviously, majority of you do know that engine needs cooling for proper work. But do you actually know how the cooling system of your BMW is made? For example, on that G30 there are actually several radiators built into the vehicle and those radiators actually they are covered with the blinds over here in those upper grills and in uh, down grills those blinds are also covered. In majority of the time they are closed. There are four different modes how those uh, blinds do open and close. If your engine doesn't require any cooling at all those blinds will be closed. It is made for better aerodynamics and the better aerodynamics your vehicle has the lower fuel it consumes while driving. If the cooling requirement is very low, then the upper blinds will be closed and the lower blinds will be opened only up to the half. If the cooling requirement is medium, the lower blinds will be opened 100% and the upper blinds will be closed. And if the cooling requirements are high, then both of the blinds, upper and down one, will be open. For better illustration, I have used my laptop with the diagnostic software to manually open those blinds and show you how they're operating. Right now you can see that lower blinds are opening and closing and actually exactly the same procedure is working for the upper blinds as well. How the blinds are operating is controlled by engine ECU and that process is automated. You as the user do not have to do anything about that. You obviously do know that diesel engines and gasoline engines they have different ECUs diesel engine ECU is called DDE, it's Digital Diesel Electronics, and for the gasoline engine it's called DME, Digital Motor Electronics. On the older vehicles those ECUs were completely different, but starting from the G-Series the outer shell is exactly the same, all the, all the pinouts are exactly the same, but actually the inside part are different, because on the diesel ECUs, the DDEs, the shell is the same, but the motherboard with the components is a bit different because the diesel engine ECU is now have to be able to control the glow plugs of your engine because there is no additional relay on the G-Series for glow, glow plugs anymore. 
Did you know that the behavior of your BMW, the electrical behavior, is completely reworked from the scratch and the total difference from the how it was working before? For example, if you want to just switch on the ignition, you just cannot press it once or twice. You have to press the start-stop button three times quickly. Have a look here. One, two, three. And that initializes the PAD mode that allows technicians uh, to connect to the car and diagnose or program it properly. So the main question is why on the F-Series was enough to press two times to turn on the ignition, on the G-Series it's supposed to be pressed three times. Actually there are three different modes of the vehicle. If before that there was contact 15 or contact 30, contact 50 and so on. In the modern vehicles the BMW has changed the whole concept. Now it has park mode, home mode and driving mode. In those different modes, the power supply to different units is delivered differently. That topic is a bit too big to cover in the current video, but if you're interested how the BMW is made from the electrical perspective, just leave a comment and I might make, me, might make video about that. Did you know that if you switch on the Echo Pro mode, your vehicle behaves differently? In that video, actually, you can see that if the distance to the front vehicle is less than 5 meters and the echo promote is activated, your headlights will not shine to 100% of the power, the power to them will be reduced and that's why the less power they consume, uh, the less fuel your engine is burning. And that's it for today. I really do hope that you found something interesting for you. Have subscribed to my channel and see you next time. Bye!